first story. I saw my husband texting with an underage girl. After calling him a pedophile, he opened up. I'm disgusted with myself. I am absolutely shaking right now. My husband and I have been together for three years and married six months ago. He is perfect and everything I could have asked for. These past years, I thought I had been living the dream, but now everything has fallen apart. Two hours into our road trip, my husband decided to take a stop at a gas station and get us some snacks. I stayed inside the car and was waiting for him until I noticed he got a notification from Instagram. This surprised me because he was always adamant about never wanting to get on Instagram. I opened up his phone and decided to check what it was. Upon opening it, I found messages from a teenage girl. I only saw a couple of them, but they consisted of, I love you. I can't wait to see you again. And him sliding on her stories, saying she looks beautiful. I clicked on her profile, and it was obvious she was a teenager, somewhere around 14 or 16. The fact that he was cheating on me didn't even register in my brain. And more so was the fact that he was texting these things to someone underage. I did not have the chance to look further because he came back within 10 minutes. I don't know what to do. I am terrified, betrayed, and disgusted. I am stuck with him for six more hours, and he is noticing I am acting weird. I don't want to confront him on the road, and I feel like these hours are driving me crazy. I need to vent and need some support or something. Edit. I want to thank everyone for the replies and support. I have been faking being sick just to get him off my back as to why I am not holding his hand or being affectionate with him. I know I should go along with it and pretend for my sake, but I physically can't bring myself to. I am going to try to take a nap as we have about four hours left. I truly take everyone's advice to heart and thank you for everyone's time. I just need to rest my brain before I do something I regret. Thankfully, we are on a trip to see my parents, so after these hours, I will truly feel safe. Update. First, I want to thank everyone for the support and advice they gave. Like I said in my previous post, I just fell asleep during the car ride and told him I felt sick. We were heading to my parents' house, and I really wanted to be by them. However, within 45 minutes, my husband woke me up and told me he had found a nearby hotel for us to stay at. He said he was worried about me and wanted me to rest in a real bed. He also bought medicine for me. At this point, I was freaking out because I knew I was in an unfamiliar area and he was being extra clingy. Once we got in the room and laid down, he kept cuddling me and giving me kisses. It made me feel sick, and so I left to go to the bathroom. I stayed in the bathroom for about an hour. I scrolled through everyone's comments and kept pacing myself about what to do. I knew my husband was growing concerned because he kept checking on me. After I left the bathroom, he looked so worried and I just needed to let everything out. I know the number one piece of advice given was not to confront him, and I know it probably was a horrible move, but I couldn't take it. I told him I found his messages on Instagram. He immediately started apologizing and saying he wanted to tell me sooner, but couldn't find the time. He was apologizing, but not as intensely as he could have done. So I confronted him about that and said, what a lousy apology coming from a pedophile. He immediately went silent. It was probably silent for about six minutes when he broke it and asked what I was referring to. I told him, and he looked so hurt. He took a deep breath and explained everything. He said the person I looked through his messages with was his 15-year-old daughter Sarah. He explained that she reached out to him a year ago on Facebook, and ever since then, he has been trying to connect with her. He said within six months he confirmed he was the father, met up with her a bunch of times, and truly formed a strong connection with her. However, six months ago we got married, and he didn't want to stress me out with that news, as well as his daughter not being ready to face others. He also explained that when he was 18, he had an on and off relationship with Sarah's mom, but one day she just got up and ghosted him forever. According to Sarah, her mom is also strict, 
which is why she sent the message on Instagram to avoid her mom finding out right now. My mind was spiraling, and I knew he knew that. He then placed his phone in my hand and let me scroll further. Upon scrolling, I found her referring to him as dad, and she sent him a happy Father's Day a while back as well. He even said he would do another DNA test to prove it to me. I immediately felt guilty. I feel guilty that my immediate mind took innocent texts and turned them inappropriate. And I felt guilty that I saw my husband in that way. I kept apologizing to him about the accusation. However, my husband just apologized, said he understood my point of view, and told me it wasn't my fault. I kept trying to tell him I was sorry, and he kept saying it was okay. I can see the look in his eyes though, and I can see how hurt he really is. He said we should both just get some sleep and talk more later. To be honest, I can't fall asleep, as I feel just disgusted with myself. About his whole secret daughter, it doesn't bother me so much maybe because it's miles better than the alternative. But I understand the situation and am happy for my husband, because he wants kids desperately. But we have decided to wait two years to grow our marriage. I feel as if right now I have flushed everything down the drain and have no clue how to make things better. Edit. To answer some common questions or concerns. To the people who think my husband stinks for not telling me earlier. He acknowledged that it was wrong, and through his apology, I understand why he did it. I am slightly hurt. However, if I put myself in his shoes, revealing a secret daughter would be hard and difficult. I don't take it as he doesn't trust me more, because it's a delicate situation to bring up. To the people who think I stink for invading my husband's privacy and making rash assumptions. Yes, that is horrible of me, and I take full accountability. My husband understands my point of view and doesn't blame me for rushing to conclusions. Although he is hurt, I could imagine him as that sort of person. Long story short, we both empathize with each other's actions. Yes, we are both hurt, but we understand why the course of events played out this way. Thank you for all the comments, and I don't know what kind of proof I can give. But one thing I can assure you is that I did not steal this off of some TikTok and would like to know if anyone had the TikTok I stole it from. Second story. I threw away my girlfriend's dolls in the trash and fed up our relationship. My girlfriend and I have been together long distance for three years. We just moved in together, and I moved across the country for her after finishing college. I always knew my girlfriend liked creepy SHT, like haunted houses and scary movies, but I didn't realize she liked to collect creepy SHT. I'd seen her apartment over video calls, but there was one thing she had neglected to show me. A thing shelf of creepy arse dolls. When I was walking through the apartment for the first time, I noticed it in the corner of the living room and holy SHT. I asked her, and she said that she likes thrifting for old, abandoned dolls, cleaning them, getting them new clothes, doing their hair, then throwing them on this shelf. Then she started introducing me to them. They all had names, and there were a couple really rough ones that she said she had since she was a kid, or were her mom's, or some were her grandma's. The other four were thrifted. She said the ones she thrifts and gets into good enough shape, she gives to disadvantaged kids at the daycare she works at. She only keeps the ugly ones. I thought I'd be okay with it, but every morning I just dreaded looking at them. They made me so thing uncomfortable. I tried buying her squishmallows, thinking maybe she could collect something normal instead. She loved them, but she is still all about the dolls. I then suggested she give them to her kids at daycare or display them at daycare instead, because she was worried they'd be damaged or taken home by kids by accident. I think she realized I didn't like them, so she asked if I wanted her to move them into the closet. I said yes and thought that would be it. Well, one of my friends flew out to visit, and when we were hanging out, he dropped a bowl of popcorn. I asked him to grab the vacuum out of the closet, and he almost sht had his pants. The doll's heads all poked out of the box, and their creepy little eyes stared into his soul. Horror movie sht. I was so embarrassed, and my girlfriend was apologetic, but had a bit of a laugh. Honestly, that was the last straw. Those fing things wouldn't leave me the f alone.
The next day, which is today, is garbage day. So I took the box out and tossed it while my girlfriend was away. It's gone. My friend came home, and I started sweating. I told my friend we were leaving to get dinner. She's been calling and texting, but I want to give her time to cool off. My friend is saying I'm a bit of a jerk, but I genuinely feel that I had to do it. Ada. Relevant comments. Snarkashark83. YTA. Not only did you throw away something that didn't belong to you, but you also threw away items that held great sentimental value for your girlfriend. These aren't dolls that she can find at Walmart. They belong to her mom and grandma. This is unforgivable. She already compromised by putting them in a closet. Since you didn't like them, you'd better hope that it wasn't garbage pickup day and get them back. I hope the dolls are possessed by evil spirits and haunt you. OP. They're gone for good. I watched and waited for the garbage truck to go by. It just isn't normal to keep ugly dolls. She knows they're ugly, but she keeps them because they remind her of her mom. I think maybe she could just put a picture up or something instead now, but no one would ever take her seriously when she's got these weird arse dolls around. Spiritual Bridge 3D27 YTA Granted, the doll thing would creep me out too. But you don't throw away someone else's stuff. If you feel so uncomfortable about those dolls, move out and break up with that person. OP, I don't want to break up, and even if she dumps me, I still feel like I did the right thing. I got rid of her only flaw. She'll have an easier time keeping her next boyfriend, because he won't have to deal with this. Additional comments from Opie think you missed that I'm the one that moved for her, despite the fact that she has no family left here, so she could keep her job at the daycare because she loves it. I understand now how it was an arsehole move but it was the best thing for her, and she needs to make sacrifices too. I left my actual family to be with her. She'll get over it, but I'm not too worried that she'll break up with me after being together for three years because I threw out her toys. And I don't really understand how they even remind her of her mom. She was only three when her mom passed away. Her grandma raised her and recently passed away too. I get it now from all the people saying it here. I'm the RC hole. I wish I could take back what I did, but I can't. I'm going back to the apartment now to apologize. Update. I got many messages asking for an update, but I was banned from RAM, I the arsehole. So here it is. I went home, and my girlfriend asked me where her dolls were. She'd had a bad day, and assumed that I had moved them somewhere after they spooked my friend. But she really wanted them because they're very comforting for her. I sat her down and told her the truth. To be honest, I expected to be yelled at. It would have been almost easier, but instead she started sobbing. It reminded me of when her grandma passed away. I think that's when it sank and how badly I messed up. I slept on the couch with my friend, and today I swore to do everything I could to correct my massive foe. Unfortunately, there's no way we could possibly get the originals back. They would have ended up compacted and heading to a massive landfill outside the city. So I texted my girlfriend what kind of dolls they were. Most of them she knew, but one of her grandma's dolls was handmade, so that one obviously I can't replace. I started scouring the internet, looking for antique shops, thrift stores, pawn shops, etc. I ordered a couple online that were the same as the one she had, and I found one similar to one she had at one of the stores. I didn't realize how expensive dolls were. She hasn't broken up with me yet, but I'm now expecting it after what everyone has told me. I'm sleeping on the couch again tonight, and I'm looking to book a flight home. I'm planning on continuing to pay my half of the rent for the year since she doesn't make much money, and I'll be living with my parents. If she asks for money to try replacing all the dolls, I'll pay it. It's the least I can do. Thank you everyone for your brutal honesty. Final comments from OP. We talked, and she hadn't forgiven me, but wanted to make it work. I made the mistake of showing her this Reddit account, and she ended up changing her mind. She broke up with me, but she's letting me stay on the couch until I'm able to get a transfer. It shouldn't take long since I've been with my job for a while and only transferred to this city recently, so I'll be flying back to my hometown early next week.
She's going to be trying to find similar dolls, and we agreed that she'd send me the receipt, and I'd send her the money to reimburse her. That's the end of it, I guess. My family isn't really sentimental, so I didn't understand her connection to the dolls. My parents threw out all my toys when I was young. When I told my parents, they told me I did the right thing since my ex-girlfriend never had anyone to throw her toys out for her. I told them that was a really messed up thing to say because I had realized my mistake at the time, but they're stuck in their ways and just said, well you turned out fine didn't you? And got mad that I was implying they were bad parents. She ended up dumping me, and I now know better, even though it's too late. My ex-girlfriend told me that she appreciated that I knew what I did was wrong now, even if it was too late. She broke up with me, and I'm going back to my hometown at the end of the week. Thank you for watching the video. If you are interested in listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.